Perhaps the most common question we get at Ag PhD from non-farmers is how dangerous are pesticides? Can you talk to us about pesticide safety? So we're going to do that today. One of the great things that's happened in our generation is a lot of the old pesticides have gone away. So many of the things that my grandpa would have used, well, they're no longer around. And that's kind of a good thing for us. And part of the reason why is we found some safer alternatives to use to control weeds, to control bugs, to control diseases in our crops. So when we look at the new pesticides that are on the market in general, they're pretty good. But let's talk about some specific examples. All right, so first of all, when we start talking about a lot of these newer pesticides, they are either natural products or many are derived from natural products. So here are a couple examples. The most popular insecticide family in the United States today is called the pyrethroid family of insecticides. That comes from the chrysanthemum flower. And I don't know who figured it out or how they figured it out, but all I know is they isolated something in the chrysanthemum flower that can actually control certain insects. It's very safe to human beings, to animals, that type of thing. It's like sprinkling a flower over your fields, but that's the pyrethroid family. The, the other one that I'll mention specifically that I thought was really interesting is there was a Syngenta researcher back quite a number of years ago who noticed he had a Callistemone tree in his yard. And he noticed that there were never any broadleaves around that tree, but there were broadleaves in the rest of his yard. So he thought, huh, you know, as a scientist, it seems to me like there should be something out of that tree, or there must be something out of that tree that's killing the broadleaf weeds. So they took part of this tree in and identified what the compound was in there. So then you ended up with the Syngenta product called Callisto. It comes from the Callistemone tree. And really that whole chemical family, we call the HPPD, that whole chemical family, that's very similar to this. So there are many other offshoots of that and, and kind of lookalikes to Callisto, but that's perhaps the most popular corn herbicide in the country today. So right there you go. Yeah, they might not be exactly natural, they're just reproduced synthetically, but they came from a flower and they came from a tree. Those are two of the most popular pesticides in the United States today. Since we do have some good options out there that are relatively safe, it's become more difficult to get new pesticides labeled because they have to show, well, what's the value of bringing this new one out? Is it going to be even safer yet? Is it going to be even more effective on the certain pests that we're trying to control? So the government does have some safety ratings that they'll look at when they compare different pesticides and really lots of things that are out there in our environment and in society today. So you look at things like salt, for example. The government looks at the safety of salt or caffeine or a number of different uh, products that you may consume every single day. They also look at crop protection products in the same manner. They use something called the LD50 to compare the safety of consuming different things. This LD50 just tells you what the lethal dose is. And when you look at products like even atrazine, that's one of the older products, we would consider that one of the more dangerous products. Guess what? The LD50 of atrazine is equal to the LD50 of table salt, and both products, atrazine and table salt, are way safer than caffeine. So when you start looking at it from that aspect, you say, boy, a lot of these pesticides are actually pretty safe to humans. On our own farm, I can guarantee you there's nothing we're using on our farm that's even half as dangerous as some of the household cleaners you might find below your kitchen sink. Now, when I say all that, Please don't misunderstand. I'm not saying, oh, I want you to go drinking a bunch of pesticides or taking a shower in pesticides or that all pesticides are safe or anything like that. But what I am saying is you've got to look at how dangerous is anything you're handling, anything you're consuming, anything you're eating. And when you look at it on a relative scale, well, there are a lot of products on the farm today that are called pesticides that are actually safer than many of the things that you eat and safer than many of the things that you'll find around your house. Well, that's a good thing because we may need to use pesticides to stop our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 